Hi, welcome to Pi Simple GUI 2020. This is a mini lesson on PyCharm. Uh, it's an important IDE. I think it's the better choice. And uh, I wanted to spend some time specifically talking about it. It's already been mentioned in the main, uh, the main course that's being taught. Uh, so here is PyCharm as it's running. What you want to do is Control Alt S brings up the settings. And um, one of the things you want to be looking at is the editor color schemes. Uh, this is important to get right. Spend a weekend on this, on, on uh, PyCharm in general. Uh, but it's, it's worth it. It is where you spend your day when you're working with Python. So master your tools is the lesson. Um, if you go to color scheme Python, then you will find um, all of the different um, settings for classes. The one that I think is most important to set is comment. It defaults to a light gray um, font, which makes it just disappear. And I think that is an injustice to comments. They deserve to pop. They should be very readable. Anyway, take your time. Make, make your code look the way you want. Uh, and then learn shortcuts. Uh, I have a keyboard from Logitech that has extra keys, so I'm able to map them. You can use uh, hotkey programs. The, the, what you want to map to is uh, Shift F10, and I think Control Shift F10 is what runs uh, what's currently on the screen. Um, so I use this constantly. So you're making a change. I want to come up here and add a pop-up, uh, pop-up get date, let's say. And, uh, and I just want to run it. So I add that in, I hit the run button, and it comes down here and says that there's no attribute. So there's something wrong with my pop-up. Oh, there's no get date. So let's do get uh, control space brings up autocomplete. There's the get date. I'm hoping there's no parameters that are required. Hit the run button again and look, here's my program that run. So the idea is to be able to spin changes very quickly. Uh, I, when you're coding with PySimple GUI, parameters are important. That's true with all uh, all calls in Python. So hit Control P as you're typing, and you'll see a list of the parameters and what their defaults are. That's true with anything. Time dot time. Let's say we don't know what that is, and I want to see what the parameters are. Uh, there are no parameters. Um, how about random dot rand int? Right? Random dot rand int. If you're not sure what the parameters are, control P it will bring those up. And you'll see it's A and B. If you're on the name of the function and you hit control Q, then it will bring up this documentation. And this documentation also works for PySimple GUI calls. It has uh, the parameters. It has a description of the parameters because of the, the doc strings that are in the code. Uh, another thing I use a lot is control slash, which is located above your keypad. If you're coding and you want to come, out, come in out a big block, just do control slash. If you want to bring it back, control slash. If you want to do one line at a time, you just keep pressing it and it moves on to the next line super fast. You would be stunned at how much it multiplies your capabilities in, ter in terms of time, how efficient you become 
when you use an IDE or a smart editor. Uh, I happen to choose PyCharm. I do not use, at least in my primary environment, PyCharm's virtual environment. I'm a simple person. I prefer to use PIP um, at the system level and then I don't have to worry about PIP installing through PyCharm. On Linux, there are some Linux systems where I'm using the virtual environment and I, I just find it a little more confusing. Uh, I, I do use projects. I'm able to use um, sort of like an explorer interface to get to um, demo programs or the different ports of PySimple GUI. They all happen to be in one folder. So I know I can get Qt and Web and WX and it's all right there. Uh, there are a ton of good features. Spend the weekend on it. That, that's your um, homework. Learn PyCharm. It's worth it. And while we're talking about PyCharm, you will notice if you read the source code, you'll notice this sort of a hacky thing that I do, which is comments for types. So it, it, some, sometimes the variable element in this particular routine changes types depending on the element type. So in, in one block of code, it's one thing and another, it's a different type. And a, a way to get code completion to work correctly is to use a comment next to the line that you're talking about and you put type colon and then type in this case it's a spin um, class if I control click it it'll take me there uh, to go back to the last place that you typed use control shift backspace so if I'm editing here, maybe I'm editing here, I'm editing here, and I want to step back through my edits, control backspace will take you through those. It's a great way to skip around so you're not scrolling and, and trying to find where you were last. Um, but by doing these type hints, now element dot, and I hit control space, it's going to bring up all the different stuff for the spin element in this case. You notice over here, here's the spin. It is uh, based on the element class, so you'll also th see things about the element class. But it, it provides type hints for you um, so that code completion works correctly in PyCharm, and it doesn't add a bunch of extra funny looking things to your code. It's simply comments. So it works with, with Python 2. It works with Python 3.4. It works everywhere because it's just comments. And PyCharm knows how to read those comments. And then one final tip is to use Control-Alt-Shift-Insert to quickly create a scratch file. Control-Alt-Shift-Insert brings up uh, a dialog box. You can say, I want a Python file. <clears throat> you can use these things called live templates so that you hit control J and it'll allow me to pull up um, a, a live template. You can look up what that means, but basically it's a way to quickly paste a bunch of code in. So with two keystrokes, control alt shift insert, I've got a new file. Control J, I've got a program. I can hit the run button, and now I am executing a PySimple GUI program that I can modify and try to duplicate whatever bug someone has put as an issue. <laughs> I do this a lot clearly. Um, so that's it for your mini lesson here. Hope that you're enjoying these new 2020 lessons.